Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to take Prisma's authentication template and instead of using JWT tokens and storing it in local storage, how to use sessions and sending them and storing them in cookies. So I'm going to be doing this with the TypeScript template, but it's going to be the exact same if you use the JavaScript one. So the first thing that I did was I installed a library called Express Session. So this is what I'm going to be using to create sessions, and I just imported it. And then I'm currently in the index file where the server is getting set up. So the first change I make is by adding the session middleware. So right here, uh, here are all basically the configuration for the sessions. Um, but you'll notice I do server.express. This allows me to access um, the middleware or add middleware for the GraphQL Yoga server. So I did express.use and here's me passing in the middleware. Next, a very important thing to do is cores. So your cookie will not be set if you don't add this. Uh, there's two things you need, credentials and origin. Uh, origin is the location of your web app or in this case I'm going to be testing this with um, the GraphQL Playground, so this is the location of that. Uh, very important, you do not want, for example, a star here um, because it will not work. You can also make this an array if you want to pass multiple origin values. But for me, I just want to access the GraphQL Playground. And then next you'll notice I'm passing the cores in when I start the server. So this is pretty much all the setup that is needed for sessions. Next we can actually uh, use them. So if I go over to auth, this is where um, we sign up and we log in. So now instead of sending a token back, what I do is after they have signed up, I grab the context object. Um, and if we come back over here, you'll notice we are actually just adding it here. So here um, it is there. So context.request.session.userID. So this is the important part right here. So this gives us access to our session, and then I can put whatever key I want. I called it user ID, and this is how I'm storing the person's um, ID. And I'm doing the same thing on login. And so the session middleware will detect we made a change here, and we'll save a cookie for that user. And then I just changed the schema. Dot GraphQL, so that way in the auth payload, I'm no longer passing back a token, just a user. Um, and then the other thing is in our post, you'll notice we're calling a function called get user ID. So we need to update this. This is looking for JWT tokens. So if we come to utils, we can check out this function called get user ID. And you notice you can actually simplify this a ton. All we do is we check whether this session has a user ID. If it does, we return it. Otherwise, we throw an auth error. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you set up sessions in uh, with Prisma. So first, I want to now show you a example of this working. So here is uh, GraphQL Yoga, or not Yoga Playground, I mean. And uh, in my settings, there's a very important thing we need to add. Uh, so for me, it said the word omit here. You want to change this to include. That way that cookies are sent back and forth. Uh, so very important there. So first things first, here's me trying to create a draft. Now notice in my cookies, I do not have any cookies set. So this should say not authenticated, right? If we look over here, it should check that the session, and it should say, hey man, this guy doesn't have a session created yet, so it shows an error. So let's try adding this, and we get uh, not authorized exactly as we expect, so perfect. Um, but if I were to say log in first, so here's me logging in, uh, we should get a user ID added. So we notice an update down here in the cookies, we get this QID, which I added. And then over here on the right, we can see the normal response, we get a user back. So now if I try creating a draft, we're sending a cookie in, so it actually knows that we have a, a session because it was able to get that ID which we created over here. Uh, so that's it. So that's an example of it working. Um, so it's actually pretty simple to get swap over your authentication to using cookies and sessions. And in my opinion, I think this is a lot more secure than storing it in JWT tokens and local storage. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.